Uh, so, perhaps you'd like to introduce yourself first of all. Yeah, um, I'm Sof Sophia, uh, married to Joe. We've lived in Salisbury for about a year and a half now. Came with a group from Southampton to start this church. And I'm currently training to be a cognitive behavioural therapist. So working with adults with various mental health difficulties, but mainly anxiety disorders and depression. Thank you. Okay. So the first question is, uh, what was your experience of the Christian faith growing up? Um, so I grew up going to church from quite a young age. Um, my dad's from a Muslim background. He became a Christian before my sister and I were born. So um, yeah, when we were fairly young, dad would take us to church. Mum's from a Sikh background um, and she became a Christian as I was growing up as well. So eventually we were all, all four of us were going to church as a family. Um, grew up going to Sunday school, so learned a lot about classic stories from the Bible and heard the gospel from a fairly young age. Um, and then when I went to university, I was very involved in the Christian Union there as well, which is a group of Christian students that meet up week by week and just think about sharing Jesus with campus. Uh, thank you. Now, Soph may have said things there that you perhaps haven't heard before and you'd like to know more. We're not going to delve too much in those, but Soph's happy to talk to anybody who'd like to ask questions about her, her background and her upbringing and anything else she says in this talk. So I'll move on with the next question. When did you first respond personally to the gospel and why? Um, so I remember when I was around 13 years old, um, I had a conversation with my dad one evening. Um, he explained to me that just because I go to church with the rest of my family um, and I do that each week, it's not going to church that makes me a Christian. Um, he explained that we're all sinners and that Jesus died for our sins on the cross um, and we need to ask for forgiveness for our sins. and accept Jesus as our saviour. Um, so from that conversation, I realised that's something I need to do to respond. And it's a message that I'd heard kind of growing up, but I think it was after that conversation that something clicked. Um, and then when I was just by myself, I decided to pray, um, ask Jesus into my life and recognise him as my saviour. Um, so I think it's from that point that I'd say, I kind of made my own personal commitment. Uh, thank you. What did you come to understand about the gospel that caused you to believe? Um, I came to understand that God loves me, even though I've sinned, um, and that Jesus died for me. Um, I understood that this is the best news that I could ever hear, um, and there's nothing that I can do myself to meet the standards needed um, for me to be in a relationship with God. It's only through Jesus dying on the cross. Um, I believe what the Bible says about Jesus and the state of us as humans. And the gospel is the only thing that offers us lasting hope compared to anything else in this world. Thank you. What's it been like for you living as a Christian? Um, being a Christian hasn't meant my life is completely perfect. I'm without struggles. Um, but it means that I can keep an eternal perspective when I am faced with any difficulties in life. Um, it's helped me to remember that the things of this world are temporary. Um, and that my identity is in Christ rather than my achievements or career or material wealth. Um, it's meant that I've been able to share the hope that I have with other people around me that don't know Jesus. Um, but sometimes I have found that is easier said than done, as it can be quite difficult to live distinctively to people around me that don't know Jesus. Um, but overall, I'm able to say that I'm certain of my future with God. Um, and even when life changes and things are uncertain, God and his promises never change. Thank you, Soph. Is there, thanks for sharing that with us. Is there anything we can pray for you? Yeah, so two points. Um, so firstly, just in terms of my work context, I think wisdom when speaking to patients who are suffering with various mental health difficulties, um, just help from God for me to be able to show his love to them and the hope that I have, but within the kind of constraints that are put on me, like within the NHS, that you can't be particular, as open as I want to be, so that God will give me wisdom. Um, and also just to be able to live distinctively to those around me um, who don't know Jesus. Thanks so much, Steph. Thank you. Sit down.